Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about how you view time in Cubase. So this is one of those things which used to bother me until the option I'm going to show you was introduced. So let's get down to it and I'll show you it. So if you look on screen you can see I've got the same two bar drum beat repeated three times and you would think nothing would be changing in that but if I play it you'll see that isn't the case. Yeah, so we've got three separate tempos here. And if I just open up the tempo track, you can see we've got those three. So it's a step change for each one, but the same kind of thing would happen if you had linear chain tempo changes of any sort in there. They are not by default represented on screen because each bar is the same size, which to some degree does make sense, but there's an option to change that. So if you right click or two finger tap, if you're on a MacBook and change from bars and beats linear to time linear, it will now show that much more clearly. So we can see the slow tempo of these first bars is represented by a longer time on screen. And then as the tempo changes, it will increase. I haven't gone any further, but there you go. So for me, that's a more intuitive representation of how time changes in Cubase. Now, I only turn this on when I've got a project where the tempo changes, because after all, I wouldn't need it if the tempo didn't change. But have a go, play around with that, see if you find it useful. And if you have, uh, let me know in the comments and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.